All right, Matthew Glass, Glass Water Systems. Let me go over this system with you so you understand how to operate and maintain it. Let's talk about the different components of the system. We'll start from the back. We have a shutoff right before the inline chlorinator. That turns off the water to the whole system and it'll turn off the water to your entire house. Okay. Next thing we have is your inline chlorinator. It's right here. There's also a wrench, which I will show at the end of this video, that you can loosen and tighten it with. You're going to want to leave this rating at about high to start with. All right, and then we'll go ahead and back it off to about halfway. But when you first start it up, you're going to leave it at high to get a good chlorine residual inside the tank. Next, come on around here, we have a hose bib. That hose bib is made for nothing but to relieve the water pressure on this inline chlorinator so you can loosen it and then put new chlorine tabs in it. It is not used to hook a hose up to wash a car or do watering or anything like that. So please, do not use it for such. All right, it'll be extremely strong chlorine water and it'll destroy your plants. All right, next we have a shutoff to the retention tank. That's another shutoff valve that'll shut off the water to the retention tank. And when I change the chlorine, I will turn off this valve and this valve, release the water pressure with this hose bib, and then I can take this top off. If you do not do that, you will not be able to take this top off. So again, if I want to change the chlorine tabs that are inside of this, I have to do three things. I have to turn this valve off first, then I have to turn this valve off second, and then I have to open this up and relieve the water pressure, okay? All right, you have to do that, and then you will be able to loosen this off with your wrench. Okay? So, the next thing is our retention tank, 40 gallon retention tank. This is where the chlorine mixes together to get rid of all the odor, the iron, and everything else. Next, we have the hose bib. This is basically what we call a test cock. You're going to want about three parts per million. You're going to want to go out and buy yourself a chlorine test kit. It's about $8 at Pinch a Penny or whatever pool supply store you use. Okay. This hose bib, again, is not used for watering plants, doing all this stuff. It's only used to test to see what the level of chlorine you have in it. So please don't use it for anything but that. Go out and buy yourself a small hose so you don't get the area around the unit all wet and everything and it gets away from it. Next we have is the carbon filter. The carbon filter is designed to remove the chlorine, the residual iron, and all the other residual sulfur. All right. On the back of it is the bypass. Let me show you that, the bypass. If I have the two handles like this, it's bypass. That means no water is going through the system. If I have it like this, the water is on to the unit going into the house as treated water, okay? Same thing with the water softener. This is the water softener, okay? It consists of the control valve, the resin tank, the carbon filter consists of the control valve and the carbon tank. Now, to set the time of day, it's pretty simple. You push this red button in and you switch it to the time of day. Okay, I'm not sure what time it is right now, but let's just say for now it's say four o'clock. Okay? Now, if you forget all the stuff I just told you, it's written on the front of how to set the time. All right? Same thing with the softener. Now, if you want the unit to regenerate, you will have the pins pushed up. I've already set this unit to regenerate when I want it to, but you want the pins pushed up to regenerate. So take a quick view of that. Pins up means to regenerate. Okay, same thing with the softener. Next you have a salt tank. It's got salt in it. You just need to make sure that you keep salt in it. You can fill it all the way to the top of this. That's about as high as I want you to fill it. That's it. And that's about it. That's about all you need to know about this. But again, the main thing is, is you have to get the pressure off when you change this coordinator. And these are the things you need for this inline coordinator. You have to have 
NSF rated chlorine tabs. Never, never mix this type of chlorine with the kind of chlorine you buy at the pool store. It'll melt down the unit and melt your pipes. It says warnings all over that, but that's another thing I just need to tell you. The other thing you have is you have the wrench to take this off. It even says here, use wrench to change position on, off, and remove sump. Tells you exactly what to do with it. All right, so it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You know, again, that's all there is to the system. That's it, any questions, just give us a call. Thank you.